this third 19 gigabyte. If I open the boot, this looks like this is Mandrake's partition. So we'll call it affectionately Bloat Drake. This 20 gigabyte is. Probably Ubuntu, yeah, SJ6 is Ubuntu, the one I'm in right now. No, no, it's the other Ubuntu. This 27 is the one that I'm in right now. <laughs> Haiku isn't showing up because I don't have the BFS driver in Linux, and I think they stopped supporting it when they went to kernel 2.6. Kernel 2.4, you can, you can mount it. I think you can even read and write to it without a problem, so I don't know why the ball got dropped there. Then we have a 29 gigabyte media, and I'm pretty sure that's my Windows. No, that's an empty. What? I didn't think I had a 29 gigabyte empty partition. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Hopefully, my Windows will be there when I come back. <laughs> now, here's my Windows. And then, where's the system? I believe that is the boot, the thing that, that, that lets you boot in. Now if it, I had this page defrag thing, I don't know, I, I'm kind of wondering whether my restore got trashed, no? recycled BEOS. I don't know, it seems like it's able to read just a little bit of that. Anyway, so those are my partitions. These are the ways that I get into it. Since my camera's plugged in and running on a program that runs within I can't boot out and continue to, to run. I'm going to look at my own. I'm in here as root because I'm, I'm, the, I'm the bad boy of Linux. In fact, I, you know, I'm just going to do the same thing I did before over there in, uh, in the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to file, see, save as. You can see this is pointing to system, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go, if I can go to my home, okay, let's see, let's go up, I'm going to go to boot, I'm going to grub, I have a menu list file, and I'm going to save that sucker. Now, the thing is, is that for everything, I can still keep my splash image coming off of the Red Hat partition. Right now, since I am in dev, S okay, let's explain this part. Let us, both of us. Okay. Now I wish this presented itself a little bit better. By okay, I guess I could put this over here and see this yellow that comes up here. Okay, I got to put this up so I can see if the yellow is seen. Uh, yes, it is, and we're not getting that in there. If I get close enough, okay. That is. This is my window. This should be my Windows. It's. Uh, it says Dev SGA two. That is the second partition. Hard disk. This is the, I only have one hard disk in here. This here, and the partitions are set up when you, I, I, you're able to do that pretty much with any Linux, any Linux in, install. You, you probably even set up partitions in, in Windows, but I'm, but I'm not going to get into that right now. SDA one. This is my this is my bootloader. Boot. Okay, and then it says Fedora is SDA nine. I, what I want to know right now is uh, what am I in right now? Right, my my own Ubuntu. Ubuntu. That doesn't look right. My twenty nine gig. This one here is DevSD twelve. What the hell? There's DevSD eight. I I knew, I'm pretty sure I'm in DevSD six. No, that's the other one. So this one's my Ubuntu. SDA 12 and yes right okay so yeah I just verified that by my entries okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna steal from my Red Hat or Fedora I can call it Red Hat because they changed their name I'm gonna steal the splash image here I'm just gonna put it here in boot and grub 
me move this back so I can see that I'm actually getting this. Edit paste. Okay, this is URL. It's just a file. And it should be there. It is splash XPM. Doesn't. Is it just an XPM file? Yeah. Okay. There is Fedora. Okay, this is what it's going to look like, but it's going to have things in front of it. Now that I know what I could do, maybe I can make an XPM file and put my own thing in there, like like Beavis and Butthead or something. Okay, um, now what I have to do, now there's a couple things, there's one thing that this is going to look for, that Grub will look for, this, there's a procedure you have to follow, it's a, it's a very short procedure to get the menu list that you've made to um, to install these menu items and boot these things per these instructions. Yeah, these are menu items to boot these systems per these instructions or these instructions. Let me move this over here. I can see I'm actually getting this on camera. Yeah, those are instructions. These are the titles that show up. These are the instructions. It's like the only thing that the human being sees is this part that's highlighted. Okay, I'm going over the entries a little bit. Okay, so uh, for this, is, this is Grub 1, right? And uh, so you put title. What, what is it you want to say here? I'm at Windows 7. I want to say, okay, and then whenever you do, whenever they want an entry that has something to do with where it is this is this is a where where where'd you put it where'd you put this windows what, what am I booting into entry this HD 0 comma 0 and what HD 0 is just like default just like they're calling this 0 they're calling the only hard disk in there or they want me to call the only hard disk I have in there 0 and they're calling the first partition 0 so I go root no verify HD 0 comma 0 King loader plus one, even if that was HD six and six, it would be like that. I don't know exactly what it means. That's the way it works. Ubuntu that happens to be on uh, my hard disk at partition twelve gets eleven there. <laughs> okay, these files here. In fact, we'll go up into my basic. We'll go into my boot directory. Let's see if I can get this corresponding. Hopefully, I got that on the screen. Right, okay, so it's got, see where it says uh, kernel boot VM Linux boot? I get the whole thing, gosh. Where, where'd you go? There you go. <laughs> I gotta get away a little bit. Boot. Where's my VM Linux? There's my VM Linux right there. You know, he talks about in it. In it in it rd image generic whatever the hell it is over here where it's got in it rd there that is over there too so i know i have to have at least a matching entry of, of the name of the file this is the name of a file located in a place do i have that on video no i don't now i get on video that's the name of the file located in a place. And that is on the uh, six partitions boot directory. Uh, the file name is VM. That's the kernel. That's when I'm booting. I'm <laughs> booting the kernel. This here really means that if I made this page bigger, this would appear over there like magic. <laughs> okay. Um, I, okay, so we've got the idea. Basically, a lot of the stuff I've, I've copied or use the benefit of the installer and I've, I've cribbed from other places I've gone to various partitions and thrown together the best of everything and now I want to install this uh, Grub2 from Ubuntu and not from Red Hat previously I had it on Red Hat this is a good exercise so I got rid of my Grub I'm doing the whole thing you need to do in Ubuntu to move over from Grub2 to Grub1 so I, I think uh, I'm happy I did it this way so to get my splash image I am going to uh, to do again. I just verified it's in boot and then grub. Or 
get this out of the way or